Last year, OnlyFans generated $1.2 billion in revenue and paid out $5 billion to its users. Far and away the best out of any app, website, platform, in the world going right now. Yet the powers that be at OnlyFans said that they needed to make this change because of pressure from the banking investors and the payment partners, AKA they want the bag and they want it now. They're like Veruca Salt in the fucking factory. I want it now, daddy. Problem is when you make almost all of your money in the adult entertainment industry, the people who have that kind of cash are not gonna wanna sully their good reputation. So now you're at a crossroads if you're OnlyFans. What do you do? They chose to radically change everything to completely abandon their fans and their users, change up their whole business model, hoping that that means someone comes in and says, okay, now we'll give you $10 billion. And if that works, hats off to you. If it's me though, I know what I would personally do because I watched it happen with Barstool Sports. I would stay the course, I would stick to my core competency, I would double down on the sex worker industry. I would say that we believe in this revolution of sexual freedom and the money to be made and the entertainment to be created while people express themselves. That we're gonna be leaders of this revolution and that anybody who doesn't get down with this, that they're archaic, that they're from the dark ages and that they're on the wrong side of history. And I would just continue making money hand over fist. $1.2 billion in your first year, it's gonna continue to grow. This is not some bubble that arose from the pandemic. This is sex, man. It's been selling since the beginning of time and now you have created the platform, the technology to be used for the sex industry. OnlyFans is gonna become synonymous with Kleenex and Band-Aid. It's gonna become the term for monetizing sexual entertainment. That's basically what Barstool Sports did. There was millions of times over the years that they asked Dave Portnoy to change our content and become more friendly and become more safe. And that way we could get some investor to come in and clean the whole thing up. And we said, fuck that. We kept doing what we're doing. We had the pirate ship label. We're the renegades. We're the alternative uh, entertainment. And then we waited until the world changed. Some laws changed, some social changes came along, and we found the exact right investor that fit money-wise that didn't make us change. OnlyFans, I think, is simply too short-sighted and cowardly to do it. Think about how perfectly positioned they are. Number one, the world is going that direction both legally and socially. You got things like cannabis and gambling being legalized. Sex work, while already legal, is only gonna continue to grow and become more mainstream. I mean, think about how perfectly situated they were to just keep doing what they're doing. First of all, they're the heroes of the pandemic, providing billions of dollars at a time when people desperately needed money, when you were laid off or fired, or when you couldn't leave your house, or you needed to work in the comfort of your own home and find some sort of cash flow somewhere. OnlyFans comes along and provides just that. They're fucking heroes of the American public during one of the worst times in world history. Combine that with where the world's headed, how sex work is becoming embraced and all of these fringe types of entertainment are going mainstream. Cannabis is being legalized, gambling's being legalized, sex work is following right behind it. It's gonna become as mainstream as any other form of entertainment. You put those two things together and it's the perfect opportunity to just do what you do until the money falls in your lap. Don't put a square peg in a round hole. That's not the kind of pegging OnlyFans is down with, you know what I mean? But alas, I am an idiot, and the chances are that people at OnlyFans have already thought about these things, so maybe they know, guaranteed, that they have $20 billion sitting for them, and if that's the case, I tip my cap. What if, tinfoil hat time, this is all just a show? This is all just to placate the investors and put up a front to the, ma the majority of the public. If you read the fine print, it says no more sexually explicit content, but nudity still allowed. So what if, I don't know, this is just straight from my brain, what if they said, nothing on your timeline, nothing front facing that's sexually explicit, but you can still do whatever you want in the DMs. You wanna fucking blast yourself for 500 bucks? Go ahead, as long as you're not just posting anything nasty on your timeline, we're good to go. And that way, everyone can keep their reputation. Meanwhile, the users can keep all their fucking money because they just do what they do privately. And if that's the case, then I really tip my cap only fans because that's snake it till you make it. That's playing both sides and walking out with the bag. Cheers to you if that's it. But if this really is just a short-term cowardly play and you're just picking the potential investor over all the millions of users and viewers that you cultivated over the past couple years, well, I think that's gonna go down in history books as one of the worst decisions in business history.